de martyrdom of Saint Theodore of Sotep. On this day of the year 220 AD, Saint Theodore of Sotep was martyred. His father's name was John, and he was from the city of Sotep in Upper Egypt. He went with his regiment to the city of Antioch, where he married the daughter of a pagan nobleman and begot by her this Saint Theodore. When his mother wanted to present him to the host of idols to be located there, his father refused. She became angry, drove him away, and the child remained with his mother. His father John prayed ceaselessly and entreated God to guide his son Theodore to the path of salvation. The children grew up and learned philosophy, wisdom, literature, and literature. The Lord Christ illumined his heart, and Theodore went to a righteous bishop who baptized him. When his mother heard of this, she was sorrowed greatly, but the saint did not mind her. He joined the army and advanced in the ranks in the ranks until he became one of the great generals during the reign of Emperor Lucianus. The people of the city of Ephesus worship a great serpent and offered to him a human sacrifice every year. While Saint Theodore passing through this district, he saw a woman crying bitterly. He asked her about the reason for her crying. She answered him, saying, I am a widow, and they taken my two sons to offer them as a sacrifice to the serpent, although I am Christian. He said to himself, They have wronged this woman, but God shall avenge her. He came down for his house and turned his face towards the east and prayed, then drew near the serpent. The people of the city were watching him from the tops of the walls of the city. The serpent was fourteen cubits long. But God gave him power over it, and he speared it with his spear and killed it, and delivered the sons to the widow. After this, Theodore came to Egypt to search for his father, and he stayed with him until he died, and then returned to Antioch. He found that the emperor had apostatized the faith and started to, persec- to persecute the Christians. He came before him and confessed the Lord Christ. The emperor ordered him beaten with God's burn and cast into fire into the fire. He delivered his he delivered up his soul and received the crown of martyrdom. A Christian woman took his body. It was said that she was his mother after she gave much money to the soldiers in his and hid his body until the end of the time of persecution. Churches were built in his name in many cities. May his voice with us and glory be to God forever. Amen.